the impact on this trip was definitely not no longer being an individual and now being part of a community and helping out my community. I've gotten many experiences, I've gotten to see many places that I would never would have had the opportunity to and I've gained a lot of family in places that I wouldn't have and just getting to research and learn a lot more by getting outside the classroom has really, really helped. This trip's taught me a lot about possibility. Too often we're, we're holed up in 30 by 30 classrooms, but through this experience, making Louisville a classroom, making Navajo the Nation a classroom, meeting different groups of people, it, it says a lot about what can be done and perhaps what, what should be done in the future if we're really going to engage kids and get them thinking about interdisciplinary issues. The workshops themselves uh, have helped me gain bonds with people that are across the United States that I never really would have talked to or ever met and we just built a family so it was just really amazing to meet these people and faces that I'll never forget. It's not what I've learned about myself anymore because now I have this new th way of thinking where it's not just me anymore it's about my community so what I've learned about myself is to no longer think about myself and to think about others. My biggest takeaway from this trip would be the bonds that we made with people and the friendships that we made that would last eternity. Recently, I've been making changes in my diet. Um, I've completely cut out fast food and I'm working my way to be a vegetarian. And these workshops really make, helped me make my decision to do that because I saw the way that food impacts your body and I really don't want to live that lifestyle. I want to live a healthier lifestyle. and. You know, these workshops really made me think about how much, how much food is, how much food impacts your life. They gave, me a, they gave me a clan that I could be a part of, and they introduced me to be part of their clan. So it felt like I was being a part of a family, and that's what basically a community is, a family, a big family that works together to overcome obstacles. The level of critical thought that they were able to reach through talking to experts, through um, exploring these relationships hands-on was amazing. Being at the Navajo Nation, it gave me one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Um, never in a million years did I think that I would be experiencing the things that I've experienced with this conference. My biggest takeaway would be the sense of family and friendship that's been created throughout this trip. We made a huge bond with not only the Navajo students that came but with one another here at Fern Creek. I'm a lot closer to people I've been going to school with for a long time that I never really talked to before, and now we're like best friends. And I, I've also been talking still, even though they're not here, to the Navajo students. And they're just all really great people, and it was really great to get to meet them. The conference was one of the most amazing opportunities I've ever had in my entire life. It gave me the unique and amazing opportunity to build meaningful and lasting relationships with a culture and a people that I never imagined I would ever be interacting with. This trip has a, the impact of me because I've become more insightful. First, life was just a motion that I went through. Now, it's something that means something. I was taking breaths at first and was just like, oh, that's just another one, okay. But now, each breath means something. I have a different meaning and a different understanding of different aspects, meaning family, life, food, and community. So that's what impact this trip had on me. This series of workshops was the best teaching experience that I've ever had for myself. I've never had the ability to use a city and an entire nation as a classroom before and take two groups of students from different cultures and explore it. A wise man once told me that my mind was the greatest garden on earth. And the reason that I always fed at everything is because I was constantly planting negative seeds. Since this trip, I focused on being more positive and always saying I can instead of I can't. We've had wonderful opportunities to see transformations in students and also a transformation in what a classroom can be. So we've moved our classroom out to the community. We've used the city of Louisville and the state of Kentucky as a classroom and also have seen transformations in students from student to teacher to authentic researcher. And this connection that's happening between the Navajo Nation and this relationship that's happening between the Navajo Nation and Kentucky, a very powerful way of bringing two places together and also getting, uh, introducing each other to, to home. So it feels like we're a little bit closer to home when we're away. And 
that's been a powerful part of this uh, workshop and, and a potential place where future workshops can happen in future relations.